A few centuries ago, almost all scientists believed in the biblical account of creation. However, by the time the first astronaut launched into space, many scientists had abandoned this history. Many astronomers had come to believe that our solar system and the planets and moons within it formed all by themselves without a creator about four and a half billion years ago. In this video, you'll discover some of the evidences that have convinced me, along with many others, that the Bible is true and evolution is not. I'll be your guide as we tour the solar system together. We'll see stunning pictures and movies of planets, moons, and other objects. Some are our next door neighbors in space. Others are vast distances away. We'll discover that often these objects do not support evolutionary ideas. Many of them appear to be quite young, not billions of years old. In fact, according to the current evolutionary models, many of the objects in our solar system cannot exist at all. In this video, we'll be discussing all the planets and some of their moons in our solar system. In order from the Sun, the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto is a special case that we'll be discussing later. Here's what the planets would look like if you could line them all up next to the Sun. In real life, the planets are much farther away from the Sun and each other than this, but I wanted to show you how big the planets are compared to each other in the Sun. By the way, you are here. So where did this system come from? There are two competing models for the origin of our solar system. This is a pretty straightforward issue. Either the solar system was created or... Oh.